Hello and welcome again. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Today, I want you to be here. No, I really want you to be here. Probably one of the hardest things for us in the human race to do is to just be. Just be. It is so great to see you again. Welcome to my community, everyone. And thank you so much for all of my new subscribers who have joined in this community. And as a side note, before I really get started on this conversation, I was looking at my analytics the other day and I found out that 70% of the people who watch my conversations have not yet subscribed. So I would love to have you join our community. Don't be shy. Uh, we have wonderful, wonderful people who are part of this community and I would just love to have you join them. So. Push that subscribe button and then you will be notified whenever I have a conversation coming up. I really would love to have you join and it's all free. <laughs> it's free of charge and very few things in life are free, are they? Let's get to what I'm going to be talking about today. I want you to drop that and be here. What you say? Drop that and be here? What does that mean? I really want you to be here right now. I want you to savor the moment, right this moment. Psychology says that in order to savor the moment, it means that you have to experience something but not just experience it on a superficial level. You actually have to feel it. You have to feel all of the emotions that are going on, the smells, the sights, the sounds, the thoughts that are going through your head, uh, everything that's going on in this moment. And right now, we're having a thunderstorm here in South Beach, and I am savoring that because sun shines a lot of the time here. So when we have a thunderstorm and rain, I savor that cozy moment. I see the lightning, I hear the thunder, and I listen to the raindrops falling on the window pane. And to me, it's a cozy feeling. It really is a cozy moment. So while I am sharing my life with you right now, I'm also experiencing all the other things around me that are happening right now at this moment. This subject I've been thinking about because I have my whole family visiting with me for a few days and my husband is going to be celebrating his 96th birthday tomorrow. And I really wanted to savor the moment. And do you know what I was thinking? It's really hard for a lot of us to be in the now and to savor the moment. But how many of us really can do that on a regular basis? I know for me, it's been really hard. Well, first of all, I'm a type A personality. <laughs> and if you are a type A personality, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I like to plan ahead. I like to be thinking of things. I like to be busy all the time. And sometimes when you're busy and doing and doing and doing, you forget to stop. You forget to stop and to be here. Just be here. That probably has been the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my entire life is being able to stop and be here and to savor the moment. While this was on my mind with my family being here and I'm trying to take it all in and remember and to savor this moment of my family being together, because they're all spread apart and it's a very rare thing for me anyway. Lessons that I've had to learn in my life as a type A personality to just stop, drop everything and to be here. I 
think the first thing I had to do was be at peace with myself. I had to accept the good about me. I had to accept the bad about me. I had to accept actually who I am. And I had to love myself. I had to appreciate just being me. And we all have those aspects in our lives, don't we? You know, I've said before, none of us is perfect. We all have those parts of us that we like and parts of us that we really don't like that much and we'd like to change. Well, I really had to be at peace with myself. And that probably was one of the first things that I had to do. The next thing I really had to do was to really be grateful grateful for everything in my life. I even had to be grateful for all the crappy times that I have had in my life, all of those times that I wished would never have happened. But I had to learn to be grateful because I learned something. The lessons that I have learned in my life with all the stuff that's been thrown at me that I really hated, I had to learn to take away something positive about that. Being able to move away and take away something positive from negative aspects in your life is part of being able to be here, be right here. I had to learn to embrace life right here and right now. No matter what was going on around me or no matter what is going on around you, it is so helpful to be able to embrace the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that's going on because you will take away something positive from that. If you're smart, you can take away something positive from that and move on tomorrow because nothing is forever and tomorrow is a new day. Count your blessings and be thankful. Every day that we wake up, all of us can find one thing, no matter how big or small it is, to be grateful for, to be thankful for, Thank you, God, for the oxygen that I breathe. Thank you for the bed that I can lie in. Thank you for my sweet family, for my husband, for my fur baby. Thank you for the shoes that I put on my feet that allows me to walk through life. The smallest thing or the biggest thing in your life, if you can be grateful for all of those and give thanks for all of those. That will help you to be present and to drop everything and be, just be. When you are able to do this, when you have finally developed that skill being, you will experience all the sensations, perceptions, emotions, actions, and thoughts that are linked to a particular moment, to a particular event or experience in your life. Those are valuable to be able to store away to be able to cherish. I hope that you will learn how to drop that and be here. Thank you for being here and spending this moment with me today. I really appreciate, and you know I do um, read all of your comments. And I hope that you will decide to subscribe and come along with all of us on this wonderful journey called life.
please be good to yourself today. Do something that is kind for someone else. Share the love. And of course, let's all pray for world peace. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing you for another conversation next Tuesday. Take care. And I love you.